Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are somewhere on Highway 1 in BC on our way to Alberta to Banff Mountain Tunnel RV Park over there. It's the same park that we stayed at earlier with Fantasy RV Tour, except this time we're at the other side where they have 30 amps, water, and sewer. And we're driving through, it's raining again. That's all it does here in Canada, it's rain. So we're driving through Highway 1. Isn't this beautiful? So this is our drive today, more majestic mountains. Really nice. We are here at Banff Village 2. I think that's the name of it. Anyway, we're at site 304 and it's a pull-through. As you can see, it's quite large. And then we have Aries over here and still lots of room. This is a really nice part of the park. It's mid-September and there are no mosquitoes right now. Mosquitoes do come out about 6.30, 7 o'clock. But right now, no mosquitoes. It's wonderful. And I do like the way they staggered the RV sites. The RV sites are all staggered out. So our window faces this grove of trees. And then the next one across from us, way over there, and we did have someone here last night, but they're staggered. They did this park really nicely. The other thing I like about this part of the park is that the main road is paved. And then where the RV sites are, there's no dirt anywhere. It's all rocks, it's all gravel. Not gravel, but pebbly stuff. It's wonderful. The post is 50 amp and 30 amp and 20 amp. It's so nice to have 50 amp again. We, we were able to use the heat pump, both heat pumps in the bedroom and in the living room last night. And what a difference it makes because it's kind of cold here. Sewer and good water pressure so and the site was leveled leveled site from from left to right that was really nice we did have to pick up garbage a little bit around the rv site which seems to be a normal thing picking up litter which is shouldn't be it's a national park and i don't know why people pollute it's absolutely disgusting so we have a really nice site, picnic table. And again, it's, it was fairly clean so, and leveled. We like it being leveled. So it's a huge park. There's over 200 sites over here. It's really pretty and, and it's, it, it feels like it's the wooded setting. Look at this. There's the next, there's the closest RV to us. Way over there. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Looks like a generator. So, nice park. Really nice park. Okay, I can see why Fantasy RV Tours did not book this side of Village 2 because the A classes that were with us during our caravan would not have been able to fit in this. It would have been very tight for them because it's a U-shaped pull-through. But we're fine. Again, would I stay here again? Oh, definitely. We're here for four days. And I am so happy to have 50 amps again. It makes a difference. So full hookups, water pressure is good, 50 amps, and sewer. It's a plus on everything. 
So I would recommend Banff Village 2 highly. We are Banff at Tolulu. Tolulu, Tolulu. It's a cute little Italian. Um, what is it? Nolan's Cajun. Nolan's Cajun food. Cajun food. Walter's gonna have the jambalaya. And I'm having. I already forgot what I'm having. Black green tomatoes and dirty rice. Chicken fried steak with dirty rice. Oh, we're at downtown Banff. Again, cute little restaurant. Dinner again at Chuck's Steakhouse. We had a really good meal here the last time we were here two months ago, and we're back. So we are having the Cowboy Trail, which is, and the sides we chose are corn, corn cream, cream and the garden salad. So, really lovely. It's a great steakhouse. It's a nice steakhouse, full bar, and they even have a wine room over there. There's just a few views Okay, beef ribs, some kind of sausage. What's this? Uh, corn. Corn cream, cream corn, and a top sirloin. Yeah. Oh, and my libations. Yay for libations. Forgot the garden salad. Everything's delicious. Had the most wonderful dinner over at Chuck's Steakhouse, which is right over there. I'm gonna go across the street, walk around two blocks and then head back to the car and then have a nice evening home inside of Wanda. So it's a big tourist old trap. You can see this tree that's lined with just tourists. People. People everywhere. And tomorrow we head out to Lake Louise. We're going to leave at 9. Get there about 10. It's about 20, 28, 29 miles. It's far. It's an hour drive. To Lake Louise, have lunch at that Chateau Hotel restaurant or brunch. Maybe walk around a little bit more with throngs and throngs of tourists. It's a lot nicer here mid-September. There are no mosquitoes. But you will need a coat, a jacket, a coat. Because it's cold. Not view wonderful. Look at that view. Spectacular. More yeah, spectacular. Snows are mountains are covered in snow. That right over there. Snow covered peaks. And we have Walter back from the bank getting money. Stocking up for next year. The currency exchange right now is on our our side. It's about 30%. 33%. 33% on the dollar. So our one dollar, we get a dollar thirty-three Canadian. Yep. Since we're doing this, since we're doing the Newfoundland tour next year, we're stocking up now. While the government is horrible here, it's a liberal government. So when they change over the next election to something more conservative, it's going to turn the other way. Well, they'll either keep their liberal government and, or they'll get a more conservative government, yeah. but the exchange rate probably won't get any worse for them. Yeah. So the more liberal the government, the worse your, that country's exchange rate, or more favorable to us as the U.S. So we're doing it now while they have a horrid government. All right, we are here at Lake Louise. We're going to have brunch at that hotel that you can barely see through the fog. But first we're going to walk around towards Lake Louise where we won't be able to see anything. Until it clears up. Because of the fog. 
All right, here we are at beautiful Lake Louise. Isn't that a majestic view of the fog? <laughs> and there's the glacier. Use your imagination. It's out there. <laughs> After lunch, maybe we can see it. So back entrance to Chateau Lake Louise by the Fairmont. It says restaurants and shops that way. Mm -hmm. We're going to have brunch and get a Lake Louise t-shirt. Yes. You're probably postcards. Hello. We are at Lake Louise, the Fairmont, having brunch, lunch at the Lakeview Lounge. And I'm going to have... The duck leg, chilled tomato soup, and a Malbec. And what's Walter having? Um, Walter's having the Alberta beef burger. Alberta beef burger. And water. And water. Yeah, and, and we have water for now. And here is our magnificent view right out the window. Right, there is the duck leg. Wait, I don't know what. And there is Walter's pork barbecue pork brisket. Barbecue pork brisket. And again, we're enjoying all of this right out the window. Can I get some pepper for that? Ah, uh, pepper, please. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, got cold soup. All right, the Malbec was good. Walter's sandwich was a little dry it needed more barbecue sauce my duck was excellent it was nice and moist there was an it was an onion and some potato thing however the arugula why why are they adding arugula arugula is horrible it doesn't taste like anything it what it does taste like it it tastes like weeds I don't know why they keep wanting to serve you arugula the tomato soup was delicious. We just had lunch at the Chateau at Lake Louise and now we're gonna walk a little bit that way. We're not hiking, <laughs> we're just walking mm -hmm. until the effects of the Malbec wears off. So, yep. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're doing the little hiking trail around Lake Louise. And we're about to end. The pavement's about to end. And this is where the dirt starts. We're now walking on dirt. We're hiking on dirt. Magnificent views. Hiking on dirt. All right, this is as far as we're hiking on the dirt. There's another kilometer that way. Mm -hmm. Not really hiking people. <laughs> so I found enough of the dirt. We're going back. Take a nap at inside Wanda. Beautiful.